hello welcome back to my channel so today we are going to talk about a news chart so this is the news chart on the exam day it will be pre-filled for you full name date of birth date of admission so maybe you need to write a date and time so just make sure you write the date and time so let's say it's 10 and the time is 10 is 10 o'clock Okay, and then you will be provided with the readings. You will have your respiration, your SP2, your blood pressure, pulse, and temperature on a small paper. So you just need to doc document it. Let's see, your respiration is 21. So 21 will go here, 21 to 24. So this is the box for 21 to 24 so you just make a dot here small dot and then write the reading 21 and then the the next is saturation level so spo2 we always use scale one for the news chart for the exam purpose scale two is only uh, if the respiration is below 88 to 92 percent but for the exam purposes you don't need to touch that one okay so let's say for this my patient's spo2 is 95 so I'll make a dot here, try to 95. So this is the 94 to 95 section, I wrote it there. Then you will be provided whether your patient is getting oxygen or uh, on room air. So if the patient is on room air, you will go, you are going to write A here. And if they are receiving oxygen, you need to write the amount of the liters here. Number of the liters, whether it's two liters, four liters. So just write the number two and then the device whether they are getting the oxygen by nasal cannula or face mask so just write it here after that you are going to write your blood pressure so let's say for my patient the blood pressure is 120 by 80 so this is the section for 111 to 120 so i will write it here 120 is the highest right so it should touch on the line 120 then 80 71 this is the 80 71 to 71 to 80 and then you connect it with a dotted line write small one 80 here then the next column you have your pulse so let's say my patient's pulse is 80 pulse is 82 you can mention here 82 so this is the column for 81 to 90 you are going to write 82 here then while doing the observations you will know if patient is alert or, or confused so if it's alert if it's alert then a if confused then you can write c here okay then the temperature for the temperature you are not going to use dot you are going to use um, cross okay so let's say my patient's temperature is 37 so i'm going to write it here 37 all right so this this is the column for 36.1 to 37 so 37 is the highest so i've written it here 37 now i need to calculate the score so my respiration is 21 zero score uh, two score for that two then the spo2 is 95 one for one for that then patient is on room air zero score for that blood pressure is 120 80 we count only systolic blood pressure to chart the news okay to monitor the score so 120 zero score for this and the pulse is 82 zero score for that alert zero score for that temperature is normal 37 zero score for that so my patient got a total score of two here and one here three three and then on the on the back of the news chart you have the monitoring frequency there so if the new score is one to four you are going to monitor four to six hourly if the new score is zero minimum 12 hourly if the uh, new score is three in a single parameter then you need to monitor every one hour so for my case i got new score of three but it's not in a single parameter two was for respiration one was one was for spo2 so i've got total number of three so i'll be monitoring the patient in four to six hours so you can just write a tiny one four to six hourly okay then 
do we need the escalation of the care of course only zero where you just need to mention the continuous routine monitoring but the rest you need to say yes and then your initials okay so at the end at the end of the documentation in the assessment so first you are going to check the vital signs everything then you are documenting and then you're going back to the patient telling the patient so uh, i have charted your news chart and uh, would you allow me to explain the results to you patient will say yes then you are going to tell them so your respiration is 21 two score for that your res uh, your uh, saturation is 95 one score for that you are on you are on room air so zero score for that your blood pressure is 120 80 we are counting only systolic blood pressure so zero score for that and your pulse is 82 zero score for that you are alert and zero score for that your temperature is 37 zero score for that and your total new score is 3 which means we'll be monitoring you every 4 to 6 hours and if there is any change in your clinical condition, of course, we'll come back and check your observations again. But the routine one, we'll be checking you four to six hours and then we are going to escalation of the care is needed and that's it. After that, you are going to ask the patient about the activities of daily living as usual and then you will end your procedure. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions about the news charting, please don't hesitate to ask me, okay? Thank you so much. Take care.